Hi, Ellie here from The Dark Imp. I'm going to teach you how to play uh, Baker's Dozen, which is a one-player patience game with a standard deck of 52 cards. Take out the jokers if your pack comes with, uh, with jokers. Shuffle the cards and deal them out in 13 columns of four cards randomly, which is what we've done here. Now, the second step in the preparation is to look for any kings that appear in columns and move them to the back of the column. So here the king is at the, not at the back, and we're just going to move it to the back. Here again, we're just going to move that to the back. The other two kings are in the same column, they're over here. That's no problem. They're already at the back. If there are two kings in a column uh, and they're not at the back, just keep the order the same and move them to the back. Okay, so uh, you have two possible things that you can do with cards. There are two places you can move them onto and your aim is to move all of the cards down onto the foundation. So you're going to create piles at the bottom of your playing space, building up from ace in each of the suits uh, and so we can put the aces out. Any, any of the cards that are at the bottom of a, a row, of column, they're available. You can take them. So they're the ones that are free. So you're trying to get the aces out. We're, we were lucky in our starting setup because there's quite a few cards that we can already take and put on to our foundations. Now, the other thing you're trying th that you can do is you can move a card from its foundation from from its from its uh, column onto uh, a number that is higher than it so for example what are we trying to do we're trying to find the other ace which is over here and we're trying to find uh, a two of spades which is hiding somewhere oh no three of spades so we're trying to find that one as well. So we can't get them out until they're at the bottom of the column, until they're the available card. So we're going to move them about a bit to try and get those cards uh, available for us. So let's see what we can do. Well, I could move this jack onto this queen because it's a number higher. So jack always sits on top of queen. It doesn't matter what suit it sits on. In this game, it doesn't matter. Uh, but now we need a 9 to put the 8 on top of, and I can't find a 9 that's available. Look, we've got 9s that are down here. There's one up there. There's one in here, and actually I can get that one available. I'm going to choose to move it there. The 4 goes on the 5, so the 8 can go on the 9, and now we can get out that ace. Now, if I, want, if I decided I wanted to move this 7 onto this 8... I would have a space, but I cannot use my spaces in this game. It means that this is now dead and you're, you're down to 12 columns that you're working from. So think carefully about how you're going to... So I'm going to put that one back because I might want to put things on top of this and things on top of this. So I'm going to keep working and try and free up as many cards as possible that I can build onto my uh, foundations. I win the game... If I have, uh, if I've managed to build up to ace in all the suits, so I'm going to have a go and see how far I get. Right, so I've played for a little bit longer, and I think I'm at a point where I might be a bit stuck. I don't seem to be able to get the three of spades out from behind these higher cards. I've got nowhere to move these two, so. I haven't managed to win this game, probably because of the choices I made, possibly because of the way the cards came out. So I'm just going to pick them all up, shuffle again and have another go. I only win if I manage to get all of the cards out and up to king in every suit. So that is Baker's Dozen.